Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and welcome to another Video Game Finds video. And uh, unlike most last videos, this one comes with some amazing stuff. Actually something that I've been looking for for I think over a year. And that was when someone showed me that it even existed. And since then there hasn't been a single copy of that game available until this one that I found. Um, it's only the second copy known to exist of this item, so that's going to be last, of course. I, I'm just teasing you here. So let's start off with something non-gaming, or not, at least not video gaming related. Um, a new comic, Amoras, which is the more adult version of Suske and Wiske, which is a Dutch-Belgian uh, comic series that I grew up with as a kid. Really cool, really uh, adult, uh, the, the cool adult versions, like if you would have an adult version of... Uh, Asterix, which is the French equivalent, I think. Then two board games, King of Tokyo by Richard Garfield, which is uh, the guy that also made Magic the Gathering, I believe, which is something that I've uh, drained a lot of money into before I started collecting video games. Um, really cool game. And then uh, flea market pickup, Attila, the uh, big move, or the, um, yeah, the big move. Um, a 999 board game, they're always quite good, uh, paid one euro, so yeah, I'm not gonna leave that behind. So they, these are the non-gaming items. Let's get to the gaming items. First up, some mix and match stuff. A pro controller for the Wii U. Um, this is a Chinese knockoff version, as you can see. It's not Wii U, but the Wu or the W U. Um, I believe I didn't have one of these, so I bought it. And then when I was cleaning up my collection, I found out that I have an actual regular. Uh, Nintendo one, which is cable though. This one is wireless, but being a Chinese knockoff uh, paid 15 euros I believe so ex not expecting that one to work as well then for the PlayStation uh, Vita a Sword Art Online Hollow Realization um, I've watched the first series of uh, Sword Art Online, which was yeah, I liked it um, It's not my favorite anime, but it's a cool one um, So I was able to pick this one up and uh, looking forward to trying that out then for the PlayStation 3 collection, Killer is Dead, Limited Edition, White Knight Chronicles, and also Flea Market Pickup, Inazuma 11 Strikers, which I believe is a soccer RPG anime style. Um, heard it's quite good, don't think it's my cup of tea, but uh, I have a couple of young nephews that really love soccer, really love playing the Wii, so I think this is a good uh, entry-level RPG for them. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get them into RPGs because why? Because I love RPGs and because I had a lot of fun playing those as a kid. RPGs and adventures especially. Little Big Adventure of course, but getting kids nowadays to play uh, that old on a PC, that's going to be hard. So then two PlayStation 4 items, let me get them. Two limited editions that I was really looking forward to getting. Um, First off, this little Nightmares. This is one of the few games that I can remember that I bought because I love the trailer. Usually games, I know the series, I've played them. Uh, but for this one, I watched the trailer. Not even sure how I, wh wh where I got it because I'm not usually watching the trailers or previews, etc. But the atmosphere, the, um, the, yeah, the game, it looked so cool. And this one, this little Nightmare 6 edition, which is the limited edition, was only 35 euros retail. So... Yeah, that's why I got it. And I'm playing it now and it's really good. It's really lovely. It's a great atmospheric uh, puzzle platformer, adventurous type game. The, the puzzling is not very hard. Nothing is very hard. It just looks wonderful and the gameplay is really good. And then Persona 5, a game I've been waiting for for a long, long time, as most of you probably. Uh, this is the Take, if you, Take Your Heart Premium Edition, which comes with a duffel bag and a Morgana plushie. Um, I'm not very far yet. I think I'm 15 to you know, 15 hours in probably, which I, I don't think I finished the first dungeon yet. Uh, but then Little Nightmares came out, so I want to finish that first, playing a lot of Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storms. So I'm trying to divide my attention, but Persona 5 is definitely a game I'm going to see through to the end. 
but that could be somewhere in 2018 but still i really love the the graphic style uh, everything in persona the menus everything is is awesome so now for the last item um, like I said, it's an item that I've been looking for as soon as I even knew it existed uh, because I thought and I honestly thought that I had a complete collection of commemorative discs for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. But then some guy sent me a message saying, hey, um, you're wrong. You have, you, you're missing this one. I found this one. Uh, have you seen it before? Well, uh, no, I haven't seen it before. Uh, do you want to buy it? Uh, no, I, I asked him, do you want to sell it? And he said, no. So, thanks for showing me. Now I know I'm not complete and I know I will never find it. Until a month ago in Easter, uh, someone put it up for auction. So, there it is. Formula One 99 PlayStation Dublin Conference Commemorative Disc. A bidding war ensued, but in the end I won. It cost me a lot more than I want to admit, but still. I'm very, very happy to have it. Um, it's nothing special. It's a shitty game that uh, has a different style disc. Uh, so, Staff Conference Dublin, the back, the front, everything is different about this one. So I consider myself being complete again. Great feeling. Um, the thing is, there is one more commemorative type disc. That's the Marbella version. That's also from Formula 199, but it has on the back of uh, Marbella Conference. Thing is, it's it's only a different backside. The disc is not different. The front is not different. So, uh, is it really commemorative disc? Yes, but do I really consider it to be necessary? Mm, not sure yet. I think I will need it at some point. But at this point, it's also extremely rare and a bit too expensive for just a backside, in my opinion. But this finally makes my complete uh, my collection of commemorative discs for PlayStation complete again and as I said this is only the second known copy in collector's hands so this is I think by far the most rare thing I own and it's a goddamn Formula 199 with a smirking Michael Schumacher on the front yeah so collectors are strange right um, so that was it for this week I don't expect anything this rare to pop up this year but hey when I get something new in I will uh, make a new video again so that was it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye.